George knew this place. He was inside his stomach. The bacteria were probably having a feast on that muffin. George had to stop them. The bacteria were everywhere. Oh no! If there's food for snacking, we're not packing, right, girls? We go wherever the goodies hide, the front, the back, the top, the side. And when you're sleeping, we're wide awake, giving you that old toothache. They had to do something. George could get rid of the food, the bacteria might leave. <sighs> but they didn't leave. <sighs> Yoki thought she could help too. There she was, eating that yellow stuff. It must be the plaque. It couldn't be. Where could they be hiding? This was a job for the X-ray machine. George could get rid of that last piece of food. Maybe his toothache would go away. And the bacteria, too. <laughs> there was one thing left. A toothbrush with toothpaste. George's secret defense against plaque. Uh-oh, brace yourselves. Open wide. You think the problem is there? I don't see any cavities. Hmm. You're right. There is something caught in your teeth. Got it. Looks like a sesame seed. How's that? <coughs> then just rinse and we're done. No more toothache. Oh, that's great news, Doctor. Uh, zucchini muffin, anyone? Sure. Yes, please. <coughs> huh? The bacteria have left the building. George hoped he never saw those bacteria again. But they sure could carry a tune. George finally got it. Time for the big finish. Thank you.
Was George going to play in the concert with just one symbol? Well, maybe he only needed one. No, definitely needed two. Maybe George could find a replacement. Something big and flat, just like his symbol. The book was a square with four corners, and the symbol was a circle with no corners. <laughs> Maybe what George needed was a big flat circle. He knew just where to find one. was looking like George wouldn't be able to play in the pancake breakfast tomorrow after all. George needed his big flat circle to be made of whatever that was. to one of your symbols, eh? <laughs> oh, you want to borrow it? Of course, but take good care of it, eh? <laughs> With a symbol in each hand, George was ready for the breakfast. <laughs> It's there. It's there. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. I tell you, Georgie, Nessie is tricky. As soon as she appears, she vanishes. 
how would George ever share his discovery? We were right here, I believe. Oh, I can go to the back of the line. <laughs> oh, no, 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 please. You would have had to me, sir. Oh, gee. Thanks. George decided he needed picture proof of his discovery. George would wait. And wait. And wait. <gasps> it was the monster. But it was on land. And Uncle Tam said it lived in the lake. How did the monster get there? Maybe the monster could fly. It was another Loch Ness monster. There were two of them. No, a whole family of monsters. This is it! Don't be nervous, laddie! You can do it! Show these weaklings what we're made of! Right. Okay. Here goes. Behind you, laddie! Those are no monsters, George. They're just cows. They're Scottish cows. <coughs> Aye, they may not look like cows you have back home, but just the same cows they are. <coughs> it turned out there weren't just interesting clothes in Scotland. but interesting cows, too. <laughs> and even though George had not found the monster, he'd made a whole herd of new friends. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> It just takes practice, George. Keep at it, and you'll be hooting in no time. <laughs> 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 
George found that practicing took a lot of patience. <laughs> you did it, George. Can I try now? <laughs> <laughs> you know what we need? <laughs> Another job! <laughs> George wondered why the jugs made different sounds. Who played the jug didn't matter. Where they played didn't either. Maybe it was the size that changed the sound. George needed more jugs to figure it out. George was right. The size of the jugs made the difference. The small jugs made high tooting sounds. The big jugs made deep, low sounds. I thought you kids might be thirsty after working all day on whatever it is you're doing. Thanks, Grandma. Oh, you think these would work? Uh, uh, yep, they hoot all right. Changed. How come it changed? The bottles were exactly the same size. So what else could it be? <laughs> the amount of water in the bottle definitely changed the hoot. Without water, they hooted the same. Hey. <laughs> yeah, more water. <laughs> Look, George, everybody's showing up for our hooting, Annie. It isn't. They're not. Cause in a hoot nanny, we are the band. Yeah. Uh huh. A hoot nanny is about everybody making music together. Oh. <laughs> huh? And you can't have a hoot nanny without a tuba. <laughs> I brought you an instrument too, George. You want to play those instead? <laughs> I can't wait to hear it. George conquered all the squeaks in the kitchen. But he was pretty sure there were more hiding in the house.
Bread? It's only three o'clock? It turned out there were a lot of squeaks in the country, and George was going to find them all. found some squeaks couldn't be fixed with oil, but they could be fixed with cheese. <laughs> Thanks to one little monkey with an oil can, the country was squeakless. Four o'clock? George was late. Maybe Bill could help. Oh, I'd love to give you a ride to the Rinkins, George, but I left my bike out in the rain, and now the gears barely want to move. You've got oil? There you are. You two are just in time for some banana bread. Come on in. Oh, this must be the top secret banana bread I've been hearing so much about. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to taste it. Huh? No, George, wait! George had learned how to make things slippery, but how could he make them unslippery? Then he remembered the mixer. Flour made the gear stick. Would it work on shoes? There was only one way to find out. <laughs> That was pretty fast thinking, George. Save the day. <laughs> Here you go. Grandpa Bernie's super secret banana bread. Don't wait. Dig in. Mm. Oh, that is. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is delicious. Mm. Mm. Do I taste almond butter? Uh-oh. I solemnly promise to never, ever tell the secret ingredient. I solemnly promise to never, ever tell the secret ingredient. In great-great-grandpa Bernie's banana bread. In great-great-grandpa Bernie's banana 